This video will show you how to properly operate and provide quick workflow tips for the automated droplet generator AutoDG instrument. We're going to talk about environment, sample preparation, plate sealing, vortexing, centrifuging, and AutoDG setup. Before you begin, make sure the instrument is placed on a bench that is very level, sturdy, and free from vibration. The temperature of the room should be between 18 and 30 degrees Celsius, ideally 23 degrees Celsius for optimal performance. To start, pull out a frozen tube of 2X DDPCR Supermix for probes, no DUTP, and thaw it to completion at room temperature, which will take about 10 minutes. Once the supermix is thawed completely, you may notice some precipitate at the bottom of the tube. In order to eliminate any separation or gradient, vortex the supermix at maximum speed, which is 3200 to 3500 RPM, for 15 seconds. Make sure any precipitate goes back into solution. The supermix can handle vigorous vortexing without damaging it. For the following sample handling steps, use the recommended Rainin pipette tips. First, carefully pipette an appropriate amount of the DDPCR Supermix into a low bind plastic tube, ensuring the correct tube size for the amount of bulk solution you are making. Make sure your pipetter is accurately calibrated and up to date so that you are adding precise amounts of liquid. Next, vortex your assay and add it and an appropriate amount of nuclease-free water to the tube. Cap the tube and vortex it thoroughly for 5 seconds at maximum speed so that it's homogeneous. Next, add the reaction mix to a reagent dispensing trough and dispense it into the DDPCR 96 well plate, which is specifically designed for DDPCR. Finally, make sure that the final component the nucleic acid template has equilibrated to room temperature if it was stored at 4 degrees Celsius or that it's completely thawed if it was in the freezer. Give the tube a quick mix and spin in a tabletop centrifuge. Then add the appropriate amount to bring the final reaction mix in the 96 well plate to a 1x concentration. Pipette the template or sample into the reaction mix in each well, making sure that you are pipetting accurately using the first stop and pushing all the way down to the second stop when expelling the liquid. If you have any unused wells in an 8-well column, you must add 1x control buffer to those wells. It's important to note that all wells that are going to be run on the AutoDG must have 22 microliters of sample in them. We will be using the PX1 PCR plate sealer to seal our plate. For all digital PCR applications and the QX200 workflow, you should have the same settings for plate sealing, which are 180 degrees Celsius for 5 seconds. Before starting, it's important to ensure that the sealing block is at room temperature and not stored inside the sealer. If the block is hot, it could potentially hot start your reactions prematurely so always store the block outside of the PX1. Open the PX1 and place the block securely in the holder, making sure that it's fully seated. Place the DDPCR 96 well plate with your reactions into the block. Take a single pierceable foil PCR plate heat seal, making sure you have just one seal. Place it on the DDPCR plate with the red stripe at the top facing up. Make sure the seal is nice and square and seated well on the plate. Close the PX1 and press the seal button one time. Only seal the plate once. Do not double seal it. Remove the sealed plate and block from the sealer and close the PX1. To mix the reactions in the sealed plate to ensure that they are homogeneous, you can use a vortexer with a small cup-like rubber head attachment. Again, make sure it is set at the maximum setting, which should equate to 3200 to 3500 RPM. Turn on the vortexer and vortex the four corners first for about 5 seconds each, making sure that you are mixing really well. 
Next, mix in two spots in the middle, the bottom middle part and the upper middle part, again for 5 seconds each. This will ensure that your samples are thoroughly mixed and generate good droplets. Alternatively, some vortexers may have a plate attachment. You can vortex the entire plate using this. Again, you want to vortex the corners and middle of the plate for 5 seconds at each spot at maximum speed. The DD-PCR super mixes are very viscous, so you want to make sure to mix the plate really well. Next, place the plate in a centrifuge to make sure the 1x reaction mixes are all at the bottom of the wells for the automated droplet generator to properly pipette them. Add a balance plate and begin centrifugation. We recommend 1000 RCF for one minute. Remove the plate from the centrifuge and carefully inspect each well to make sure there are no air bubbles and that all the material is down at the bottom of the wells. If air bubbles are present, you can either flick the well or tap the plate on a hard surface to release the bubbles. Once all bubbles have been released, centrifuge the plate again for one minute. Your DDPCR 96 well plate is now ready to load into the automated droplet generator instrument for generating droplets. To begin, power up the instrument. Create a plate map by touching the Configure Sample Plate button. On the plate map, select the columns from which you wish to generate droplets or press the blue arrow to select all the columns for a complete 96 well sample plate. You can name the plate map and add notes if you desire. Press the blue OK button to return to the main screen. To load the consumables, Open the front door by pulling up on the handle. You'll hear a click when the door is in the open position. Make sure that the door is locked in the open position prior to loading the consumables on the instrument. Since we are running a full plate, we will load a full set of consumables on the instrument. Load the DG32 cartridges onto the rear of the instrument, making sure the green gaskets are to the right of the cartridge as they are placed on the instrument loading sites. The consumables loading sites will turn green on the instrument and screen when they are placed in the proper locations and seated correctly. Make sure the cartridges are seated properly and the lights change to green after proper placement. Next, ensure that you are using DD-PCR tips that are specifically made for the automated droplet generator. Remove the cover of each tip box and place the tip box on the instrument. Simply load the tip boxes where the screen tells you to. Next, place your foil-sealed sample plate with 22 microliters per well at the front of the instrument, locking it in place with the locking tabs. Ensure that the plastic tip waste bin reservoir is empty. Next, get the Auto DG cooling block from the freezer. Note that it's stored upside down so you can read the words freeze this side up. This is the proper way to store the block to prevent ice from forming in the wells. Ice could prevent the DD-PCR plate from fitting properly into the block, so inspect the block to see if any ice is formed in the wells. Also note that the color of the block is darker when it's properly cooled. This color will become lighter as the block warms up over time. Place the cooling block onto the front of the instrument and place a brand new DD-PCR 96 well plate into the cooling block. This is the plate where the automated droplet generator will deposit the droplets that are made from the reaction mix. Now you can proceed to run the automated droplet generator instrument with the appropriate consumables. Please refer to additional videos on the BioRad YouTube channel and instruction manuals available on BioRad.com to properly run the BioRad automated droplet generator instrument. In conclusion, Proper sample preparation and reagent mixing is critical for the success of droplet generation. If you are using a 96 well plate to prepare for the reactions, it's critical to mix the sealed plate vigorously at maximum speed, which is 3200 to 3500 RPM. Make sure you centrifuge the foil sealed reaction plate and ensure no bubbles are present at the bottom of the wells. 
Finally, make sure that no ice is formed in the cooling block and that the DDPCR 96 well plate for droplet collection is fully seated in the cooling block.